Okay, so today we're going to do a question from Codality Lesson 5, Prefix Sums. Um, this question is called Passing Cars. So the question asks, a non-empty array A consisting of n integers is given. Do consecutive elements of array A represent consecutive cars on a road? Array A containing only zeros and or ones. Zero represents a car traveling east. One represents a car traveling west. The goal is to count passing cars. We say that a pair of cars P, comma Q, where O is less than, where zero is less than P is less than Q is less than N, is passing when P is traveling to the east and Q is traveling to the west. For example, consider array A such that A of zero is equal to zero, A of one is equal to one, A of two is equal to zero. A of 3 is equal to 1, A of 4 is equal to 1. We have 5 pairs of passing cars. 0, 1, 0, 3, 0, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. For rate of function, a given a non-empty array of A of n integers returns the number of pairs of passing cars. The function should return negative 1 if the pair, number of pairs of passing cars exceeds 1 billion. For example, if a of uh, 0 is equal to 0, a of 1 is equal to 1, a of 2 is equal to 0, a of 3 is equal to 1, a of 4 is equal to 1, the function should return 5 as explained above. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n is an integer within the range of 1 to 100,000, and each element of array a is an integer that can have one of the following values, 0, comma 1. All right, let's start. Okay, so basically what's happening is that we have cars, right? So we have cars traveling east. I'll mark it by E. A bunch of cars traveling east. It's like two different lanes. And then we have cars traveling west. And these are going to pass each other, and we want to see, based on the array that is passed in, because they're starting off in a more combined uh, position sort of situation. We want to see, based on their positions, how many cars will pass each other. And we know that 1 in the array passed in means that it's traveling west, I believe. And zero means it's traveling east. All right. We have edge conditions as well. The first one is if passing cars is greater than uh, 1 billion, return negative 1. What is our other condition? And that's basically it, I think. Okay, so let's uh, break down the steps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate through the array, iterate, right, through my uh, array of, uh, of uh, passing cards. All right, and I'll keep track of cars traveling east and then I will have a sum because the number of past cars keep a count cars traveling east um, when in K 
encountering a car traveling west increment past cars variable by so past cars will equal or be incremented by one times well not even uh, my count of cars traveling east okay so that's it that should do it let's see how it works out okay so we have our let cars traveling east variable equal to zero to start off with and let past cars equal zero now let i is equal to zero i is less than um a and i plus plus a dot length Okay, now we have our failure conditions. So if past cars is greater than one billion, or negative one. So that's an automatic fail, right? Now, if a of i is equal to zero cars traveling east, plus plus if a of i is equal to one past cars is equal plus equals cars traveling east so we incremented by that much then finally we return past cars. So let's see how that works out. Should we do more test conditions? Ideally we would, but in this situation I think it's a relatively simple question. Let's just double check if there's any more edge conditions. I don't think so. Let's see how it works out. All right, we got a hundred percent, and it ran in O of n time as expected. So there we go. That is the passing cars um, problem uh, from Codality solved.